Steep, it was like, I have zero respect for J- JDS. Jesus. As soon as I touch him, this fight's over. Crazy. Walked through him. Yeah, and so as a heavyweight, like, uh, um, it seems that Junior looked so good against Ben Rothwell, but he was when he was circling out, his hands were open. Like, he wasn't protecting his face. That's, but that's how JDS, I don't care about that. I'm more worried that, you know, JDS had those wars with Kane, took it out of him. Then he takes all that time off. Then he loses to Alistair over him. He gets knocked out. Then he fights Ben Rothwell, who's the perfect fight for him. He doesn't get touched. Yeah. And then you have to fight Stipe, who I thought beat you the first time. Yeah. He's only gotten better, has more confidence. Now you have to fight him again. Yeah. And Stipe's camp knew, like, we just fuck this just dude. Just walk him we down. We'll walk him down and punch him right in the but face. But when you say walk him down, you're talking about a guy who hits, like, you're talking about a giant man who's he a He never really boxer. fired, did he? He, he didn't. never really fired. He didn't. And, and Is I that think, just you know, I think confidence or? Uh, that, and I just think he was a little bit hesitant, and I just think JDS time is over. Like, there's there's runs. Everyone has their runs. JDS run is over. It's okay. just what it is. Here's here's a tricky one for you. Here's something for you to chop on. Uh-huh. Is Stipe the greatest heavyweight of all time? You look at his record, it's going to be tough to argue that he's not. I think the fight for Stipe, and I don't think he's fighting anymore, is I can answer that only when I see him fight Cain Velasquez. And, you know, Cain's taking time off. He has injuries. Look, look at, let's just go through Stipe's record real quick here. So <laughs> he beat Roy Nelson. He beat Gabriel Gonzaga. He beat Junior, Junior Dos Santos, even though they said they gave it to Junior. He fucking murked Mark Hunt, most punches ever landed in a heavyweight fight. He murked Andre Orlovsky. He murked for Beast over Doom. He fucking murked Alistair over him. He destroyed Junior Dos Santos. So just when he was a champ, his just to become champ, he beats for Beast over Doom, who some regard as the best heavyweight team, knocks him out in his hometown in the first round. Fights Alistair over him. Some would say the best striker of all time to touch the heavyweight division. He knocks him the fuck I'm out gonna, in his hometown. It. Yep. Then he fights Junior Dos Santos. Some say the best boxer of all time in the UFC. He knocks him out. I'm going to add an asterisk to it all. How weird is it? There's one asterisk I got to add. All of those guys, I know what you're say. Junior Dos Santos, Alistair Overeem, Fabrizio Verdum even, definitely Andre Arlovsky, and definitely Mark Hunt, all of them are past their prime. How can you say that, though? Fabrizio Verdum, you can't say it as heavyweight. Some of those, I get the argument yeah. for some of them. Fabrizio Verdum, when he won... Was the heavyweight champion of the world. Here's the thing about Fabrizio And the Verdum. best he's ever been. There's something that happened. There's something between when he beat Kane and when and he beat he beat up uh Mark um, Hunt. um flying knee. Yep, and Knocked also him out. and also uh uh the tall giant guy. Um Stewart? no, um who you fought? Who beat your last fight? Oh, Travis Brown. Jeez. Beat the shit out <laughs> yes. of him. So so all that <clears throat> and I great. feel like something he just looked in the two fights after that, he looked like the, a different fighter, right? So not just, really. Like body and it, everything. They're in Brazil. He rushes Stipe. Stipe knocks him out. Yeah. Most time that works for people. Stipe yeah. knocks him out. Yeah. So I don't think it's fair to go, ah, Verdum's over the hill. No. Nope. But wait, wait. Before that, mm. he fucking murked Travis Brown. Murked him. He did murk him. And so, wait, finger. so now he's yeah. over the hill? Because he rushed in the first round and got knocked out? Oh, oh, or is Stipe that good? He might be. He might be. I mean, and, he, and then we fought Alistair Overeem. Alistair Overeem's coming off biggest wins of his career. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he keeps getting and better. And remember, heavyweights, the older they get, they age like fucking fine wine. Well, also... Featherweights you know, age like fucking Stipe, fruit. Stipe, really, if you also look at his camp. It's like one thing, when you're an American top team, you got the best of the best. In a lot of ways, Stipe was a full-time firefighter, he and he was is. working out. Still, still is. is. And working out in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, where there's I there's no one. There's no one there. He used to fly to Denver for training partners. Well, they used to train together all the time. Yeah, so he's got like this kind of like. I mean, I'm sure his, t- his team is. He gives him credit, and he should. I'm sure his team is great, and those guys know what they're doing. But it's it's. I don't know what his training partners like. Well, he doesn't he'll, have. He'll work with uh, like Weidman, who go to New okay. Jersey. He'll work yeah. with. He works with killers, but his camp yeah. is his boys. Like he doesn't. Yeah. He ain't shit. Yeah. To be honest, and then he That's saves lives. Even more impressive. And he saves lives and works with his hands like a blue collar fucking prince. I love that guy. And how about his voice? You know who he sounds a lot like? Who does he sound a lot like who's a friend of yours? Stone Cold Cody. Boston? Cody. Oh. Cody. Cody. Uh, uh, Cody Donovan? Co- yeah. Cody Donovan. They have got kind of a similar he does, voice, yeah, right? He does, yeah. Hey, 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 Mom, Mom, I love you. Yeah. Mom, everything about him is like, all right, Mom, I love you. You're the best mom in the world. Yeah. He's just yeah. aggressive. I'm yeah. like, Jesus, you're all man. God, you're aggressive. I, 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 Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I, I love you. What's for dinner? I can't best imagine. Best I'm a giant man. I'm fucking Croatian. Well, you're from Cleveland, but yeah, yeah. 
Easy on Croatian stuff. Stick um, baby Jostic. Wait, there's argument that he's the best of all time. Listen, man. I, I, and I the, would, the uh, only fight to make is uh, really is Kane, but I don't know what Kane's doing. Yeah. You can't give him anyone else. And, and uh, online, like, what about Francis Gano? Hey, yeah. man. I Listen, Francis is a scary black guy. I get it. We're all scared of black people. That's why he gets so much hype. I get that. He's also ridiculously muscular. That's fine. All black guys are. Listen. Hey, man. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and toss up another stereotype. But he has a huge French hog. All right. Let's why do you say that? Why do you say? I, I mean, why do you say if he pulls his pants out? Bring up, bring oh, up his suis, record. Je suis. Uh, je, ma, 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 je suis fin. Yeah, I, I realize hungry. he has Pepe. Le, je suis fin. Listen, I realize he has, I realize he has Pepe Le Pew in his pants. That's all fine and dandy. Yeah. And he's a big scary black he's guy. A, and he's he a, knocks people he out. He's an amazing looking human being. He is great. He's beat. Wow. Again, this is a, this very similar to the Yair case here. Who's the best guy he's beat? Andre Olowski. And how far past his prime is Andre Olowski? Yeah, 40, he's 48. You clip he's, Andre, he's, he's going to sleep right these old. days. That's right. Before that, okay, he beat Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. Before that, he beat Bojan Mojikovacic. <laughs> Before that, he beat Curtis Blades. Yeah. Before that, he beat Luis Henrique. It's pronounced Luis Enrique. And before that, he beat Luis Henrique. And then Luke Negeleka. But the, and And... Again, he's going to be uh, uh, in the UFC heavyweight is completely full of dinosaurs. He's going to be a top fiver. I think he's six now. He might be five. I don't know what the fuck he is. The, the hype on this guy is insane. I get it. he's a scary black guy and he knocks people out. He, name one really good grappler that he's faced. You say, well, Anthony, Anthony Hamilton was in college. Fuck you. I'm talking about like a Stipe. I'm talking about a Kane. Yeah. I'm talking about a dude who's not going to sit there and trade bombs. Where I'm like a sweater. And just get him on the ground. And all that muscle has got to be fed. I tell so. you guys, we've seen this before. I know it sounds like I'm hating. I'm not. I just don't buy into the hype trains because I know how this game works. He, he talking about, you talking about Chuck Congo. He's Chuck Congo. Yeah. In other words. Hey, he's Chuck Congo. Yeah, he, he, he's very, very muscular. He's Chuck Congo. You see what Kane did to Chuck Congo when he had fucking two fights under his belt? Yeah. He got clipped. He took him down. Yeah. Wore him out. Yeah. That's what happens. That's a lot. And, and also, the other a little bit of red flag. He moved from France to Vegas. He wants to get serious about his training. He ain't wrestling in France. No. Mm -mm. And I hate to tell you, they ain't shit in Vegas anymore. No. Mm. We ain't grapple Frank Mayer. Who the fuck's in we in Roy Nelson? I used to, if you want to jump in Floyd Mayweather's camp, go ahead. Who the fuck's in Vegas these days? Right. And you got to be in California, New Jersey, New York, or Florida. That's it. Other than that, it's going to be tough. Over with the Black Zillions. Or Better get your ass to Albuquerque. Team. Yeah. The Vegas, I don't know who the fuck's training with Vegas. Hmm. Girls. UFC. Uh, well, this ain't this game, hey, the fight game ain't for women. I'm not guys. saying he's not gonna be a fucking superstar. But what I'm saying right now, people, I want to see Francis Stipe. What the fuck? Why would Stipe take that fight? Right. You just beat legends after legends. Let's get the new guy well, in. We didn't here. just beat legends. Let's get Chuck Congo with Braids in. He knocked there. them all out. Yeah. He put them knocked all, to them sleep all out. Finished all of them. Right away. With one. The only guy he didn't that? finish was Stipe. I mean, I'm sorry, the only guy he didn't finish was uh, JDS, and actually he won that fight. He just comes in, too, like that. Hey, no respect. No. There can be anything worse as a fight. If you're like, come on, man, you know I can punch. Yeah, I get that. Check this out. What's out? Yeah, Fuck sakes, bro. Let me warm up for a second. God. Yeah, nah. I'm going to punch you in the face. Great fight night, though.